All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to be solving question 31 from the first chapter of the Fear and Johnson textbook. We have this 1.4 kip load P that is supported by two wooden members of uniform cross section that are joined by simple glue scarf splice. So this is the surface that these two are glued. So we need to determine the normal and shearing stress in the glue splice. But before that, let's just look at this member, the top wooden part from the point of view of this other guy in here. And what we're going to see is something like this. So we have the force P in here, which means we have to have the force P on the other side of the section too. Since we are in equilibrium, these two forces have to be the same. And we have this area here, which we can call A, and our A would be basically the area of this part, which is the area of the rectangle, and we also have the area of the glued section, which we're going to call the A prime, and here we have A prime. We know this angle is 30 degrees, because we know this one is 60, so we want to find this part that's going to be 30 degrees, which is what we have in here. So the reason we found this is that we can find the a prime based on A because it's easy enough to find the area of the A, which is basically three times five. We have this rectangle here. So three times five, which is going to be 15 inches square. And if you look at this right triangle here, which I'm highlighting in red, so cosine of 30 degrees would be the adjacent, which is A over the hypotenuse or A prime. So here we can find A prime based on A, which was 15 over cosine of 30 degrees. So before we we'll go to the next step, we have to find or dissolve P into two components parallel and perpendicular to the surface. We know this angle here is 30 degrees too. And since we have this angle here, 30 degrees, um, when we have another angle which the two sides are perpendicular to the side of the other one so this one perpendicular to this and this one perpendicular to this this will be 30 degrees which is what we have in here so this is one of them and this would be the other one so this is perpendicular to this and if you continue this one we'll see that it will be perpendicular so now that we have that angle we know this will be p cosine of 30 degrees the other one would be p sine of 30 degrees so pretty simple after this we have to find the normal and shearing stress let's start with the normal stress that's going to be the normal force to the surface that we have in here so we can see that the normal force is p cosine of 30 degrees over the area which is 15 over cosine of 30 degrees so this will be equal to P times cosine of 30 times cosine of 30 or cosine squared of 30 over. You already know P in the question is 1.4 kip. So the normal force would be 1.4 kip times cosine squared of 30 divided by 15 inches squared. This is going to give us. So keep in mind that we have kip over inches squared and we're going to get KSI for the unit of stress and after that we can convert it to PSI by multiplying that by a thousand. So let's just figure this out first. So we have 1.4 times cosine of 30 times cosine of 30 divided by 15. That's going to give us 0 0.07 KSI. And as I said, if we want to convert it to PSI, we know one KSI is equal to 1000 PSI. So the normal stress here would be 70 PSI. And the second part, let's find the shearing stress. This time we will have the parallel force, which is P sine of 30 degrees over 15 over cosine of 30 degrees. So we'll have 1.4 times sine of 30 times cosine of 30 divided by 15. 1.4 times sine of 30 times cosine of 30 divided by 15. So 
that's going to be 0 0.04, 0 0.04, again, KSI. And if you want to find it in PSI, we just have to multiply it by 1000. That way we're going to get 40.4 PSI for the final answer for the shearing stress. So yeah, that would be all for this one. Let me know if you guys have any questions. We are covering different textbooks in this channel. Feel free to check out the playlist and let me know if you have any specific problem from these textbooks that you want me to cover in the next videos. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.